attention, son. This is for your own good. America fought its civil war 150 years ago. We all know that story about that brouhaha. Grant, Lee, Lincoln, Fort Sumter, Gettysburg. But there's a civil war going on right now that most Americans don't know much about, even though it's currently a top story in the newspapers and on the news channels. It's the civil war in the Middle Eastern nation of Syria. Let's do a recap here on the basics. Its official name is the Syrian Arab Republic, located just south of Turkey in the region known as the Middle East. It was established as an independent nation and a parliamentary democracy in 1946 after World War II, but it became a dictatorship in 1971 under the control of the Ba'ath Party and the Assad family. The current president, he's not elected every four years like America does it, is a man named Bashar al-Assad, who inherited the presidency from his father, handed down like a kingship in a royal family. But some Syrians are not happy with that, nor with the way his government rules. They want to change. In early 2011, as part of the Arab Spring movement, where people in several Middle Eastern countries such as Tunisia, Libya, and Egypt overthrew their governments, opponents and ex-military men in Syria began an effort to topple the Assad regime. Mr. Assad, however, instead of heeding widespread calls for his resignation, sent in the army to put down the opposition. It didn't work. After months of military clashes and thousands of civilian deaths, street protests became armed rebellion. There was no central leadership, however. Today, the opposition is collectively called the Syrian Free Army. Now, to make matters more confusing, an early leader of the rebel movement has the same last name as the nation's president. His name is Colonel Riyad Musa al-Assad. He's front row center among his military colleagues in this photo. He's not related to the dictator, Bashar al-Assad, but he seems to want his job. Russia and Iran are backing the Syrian government in the conflict. Saudi Arabia and other Arab countries have sent arms to the rebels. As for the U.S., our position is unclear. While Americans don't like dictatorships and may be tempted to root for a group that calls itself the Syrian Free Army, the rebels have elements of al-Qaeda and other groups unfriendly to American interests. We don't get along great with Bashar al-Assad and his government, but a new government could be even worse. That may be why President Obama has not yet officially given full military backing to either side. Perhaps he sees it as a no-win situation. The Syrian civil war has raged for over two and a half years now. Each side controls about half the country. The use of chemical weapons in August of 2013, reportedly by the government, may be a game changer. I'll do a text segment on that in an upcoming lesson, so stay tuned. The Syrian civil war is a story you can follow in real time via your local news. I'm the Transit TV teacher, Justin Viore.